Well, we got a good fit here in the back, over here around the wheel well. Now I followed the template precisely, but look, we got this. It's like about a two inch gap up here, so I don't know what was wrong with the template, with the rubber mat, but it didn't quite make it. But that's okay, because it's all gonna be covered over. My bed is gonna be covering that. And I don't need to cut out for this stair step because I'm just gonna be covering that over with more plywood. I'll have to support it from underneath. Build some kind of a little framework out of two by fours to support that floor so it's not all floppy like that. But hey, not too bad. Well, all right, this piece seems to fit pretty snug. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now I'm gonna have this little two foot gap up here. Uh, that's all right, I can fill that in. That should be an easy fit. All right, I got the paint, I got the roller, I got the panels. Do the math. <laughs> I'll show you when it's done. All right, so what I'm doing here is, rather than trying to patch all these holes, since I'm only gonna be in this van for about eight or nine months, I just went and got some thick three mil plastic spray glued it down used a can of 3m super 77 spray adhesive it's pretty tacky and this stuff sticks right to it so that's hopefully going to keep some of the water from coming up Again, I don't think it's going to matter too much. I'm going to put the rubber mat that was originally on this floor. I'm going to lay that back down too, just for a little more protection. I'm more concerned about protecting the plywood than I am about protecting the floor because I think the floor is long gone. It's, uh, you know, this thing doesn't, it's on its last legs. If I can get eight or nine months out of it, it will have served a useful purpose. All right, so I have two panels for the floor. This is one, and that's the other. Now, I can't have them both lying on top of each other like that. So one of them has to be cut to fit the space. The way I'm doing this is, I've laid this one down, snugged it up tight against the wall, and then I've laid this one this one down on top of it and I've snugged it up close against the wall so this is where the two are going to meet so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw my pencil line oops oh crap I'm going to draw my pencil line oh well no one's going to see that <laughs> it's going to be under the bed I'm going to draw my pencil line right down there like that and that will be the line that I cut on so I'm gonna get to it all right so there they are not a bad fit it's got a seam as you can see it's got a seam but it's not gonna be noticeable because all my countertop and refrigerator and the bunk that's going to go across the back, it's going to cover all that. You won't see that seam. It will be hidden. So not too bad. Now I have that, looks like about a two foot space up in the front that I have to cut a piece for. And that will be it for the floor. All right, so the piece that I have to cut for the front is an uneven piece it's 14 and 3 8 inches wide on one side 
and 13 and 17 inches wide on the other end. So it's not a straight square cut you have to make. It's an angle to cut. It's a very... Hi. You want to start? Hi. Do you live here? Yeah, uh, what are you looking for? I'm with National Grid of Princess Art, the optical supply portion the air. Okay, so National Grid Electric Company wanting me to do something. But I'm moving next month, so it's a moot point. So anyway, I have this angled cut, and it's a nuance. It's a subtle angle, but I want to make it fit right. I don't want to leave any gaps. So I used a chalk line, and uh, my chalk line was a little empty, so I, I filled it with chalk. But looks like I used a little too much chalk. But anyway, I got my line to cut with. All right, so I got some skid marks. Chalk dust stuck to it. A few skid marks from the saw. I painted this with a floor paint. I put two coats on. So I would have expected it to be a little more durable than that. See that? See that right there? The scratches and scrapes. Would have expected it to be more durable, but it's okay. As I have said before, and as I will continue to say, this van build is a quick and dirty build. Nothing fancy. I'm not building a grandfather's clock or a Swiss watch. It is what it is. All right, nothing pretty, but it will do. All right, now all I have to do is I have to build some support for these two here. And also I'll get some two by fours, and I'll just create a little little framework that will support these like so and then that will be it for the floor so this is the layout that I marked up on my uh, not marked up that I um, drew on my antique Macintosh power Mac computer I think it's probably as old as this van it's probably close to 20 years old and I used uh, Adobe Illustrator for my application and it's drawn to scale so it might be a wee bit off here and there but up here is where my refrigerator is gonna go propane this is where my bathroom's gonna be a countertop with a sink a bed a bed a little nightstand and so I've I've measured it out pretty accurately and now I have to do a dry fit. And how I'm doing that is, this is where my refrigerator is gonna, gonna go. So I've cut a piece of cardboard out uh, to that size. And then, uh, this is 18 by 25 inches. And then I've cut a piece of cardboard out to fit the footprint of my bathroom here. And then I'm gonna see how everything fits together. Now, I just put the, um, the cutout down for the freezer and it's not quite going to fit because of the gate from the cab, the swing from the gate. It's going to collide right about there. It's going to collide with the refrigerator right about there. I have this lined up over here. Um, you know, right to the edge. And I even have it pulled back about a couple of inches from the wall. Um, it's not, it's not going to be enough. I need, uh, I need that gate to open a full 90 degrees just for safety's sake and it's not going to work. So what I'm going to do instead is gate is bolted on I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the gate off and I'll build my own door 
one that will fit. I'm going to have to frame it in. It's going to be a little tricky. It's going to take some work. Some very close measuring, very accurate measuring and cutting. But that's my next challenge.